Now, one of the running backs that, you know, I don't want to say everybody be arguing about, um, I'm on the good side of, but I like Dylan Lowby. I think Dylan Lowby going to end up playing, uh, end up uh, getting some, some playing time on the offensive side. Um, you know, we was doing some shorts. We did some shorts about Dylan Lowby. You did a video about Dylan Lowby not too long ago, his route running. Um, you know, type of dynamic player he is. But uh, did you see anything while you was there at the camp? Because I know a lot of people say at the camp in person, his quickness is crazy. Um, and at the same time, I think, you know, what, what do you think about his role going into this year? Yeah, I, I think he's going to be the third down back. I, I think he's going to be third down back day one, to be honest, because uh, yep. uh, he's ready to go in that area. He can block, which is a big thing. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't talk about his blocking skills, but that's a very important. He's better blocker than than uh, Amir Abdullah. Let's keep it real. So, and a lot uh, of people had question marks on that about if he can do that coming out. That was the question mark. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's something he did really well at the Senior Bowl too. He blocked really well at the Senior Bowl. No linebacker could guard him at the Senior Bowl, uh, and you kind of saw that at camp too. You know, line, no linebacker. Could, all the linebackers have trouble with him. Divine Diablo does pretty good against him, but you know, Divine Diablo is, he does great man coverage in practice too, and then it, it kind of gets iffy in the games as well. So, but uh, don't get yeah. me started on that one. Everybody already will be here. No, don't even, don't even get me started on that one. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 lobby. Uh, like I said, he'll be able to get it done. He'll be able to get it done. Um, you know, going in there and um, blocking getting it done uh, in that area, catching the pass out of the backfield, be able to make guys miss in the open field for some, some check downs and things like that. And they can mix it up with them, get some, give some of those, those, uh, you know, those, uh, what was what, what I'm thinking about, uh, fl- you know, swing routes outside, hitting those flat routes, hit him in the flat. So I think he's going to do a lot of great things like that. But, you know, I wouldn't expect him to be, to carry the football that, that much this year. I think it's going to be Samir and Madison uh, doing right. that. Um, and, you know, you see maybe, you know, Britton Brown becomes that, that uh, third running back or whatever. We'll, we'll see how that goes in the preseason. We don't know. Maybe uh, he had right. a good preseason last time. He got a, a chance to do some run and we haven't really heard much about him, but you're not going to hear much about the running backs. And the, and the reason why you hear the most about Dylan Lobby is because of training camp. Most of what you hear out of it is the passes. You can hear about. Yeah, you know, and like he's that. making that like, type of impact in the past game. Um, correct. Exactly. Got you on there. So, I mean, we keep talking about, you know, we're staying on the offense a little bit. Um, we're just going to keep flip-flopping. But, uh, you know, going from Dylan Lowry, and we're talking about this O-line, but I think we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about DJ Glaze um, yeah. and him getting the reps with the ones. So, very surprising to me personally because when we got him i wasn't really too excited i'm I'm gonna be honest with you i i didn't like the pick all that well i thought there was other dudes on the board we might have could select it at the time but being able to say all right we can put there at left you can go ahead and man that right spot with the ones at this juncture right now against this defense that's pretty good um i'm gonna take more cash when we get into the preseason but what what are you feeling as far as him getting them reps with the ones is there anything you saw from him while you was there maybe that you was like okay maybe that's something you can work with right there yeah yeah uh you know with dj glaze you know uh when i was out there he wasn't getting the first team reps right and so it wasn't Interesting. And so, especially they weren't in pads but you know their month got hurt right their month uh, got hurt and then you know he did pretty good against max crosby and he that's really why he started uh, getting some practice. I don't know. Max Crosby took it personal and, you know, was pointing at the media you know, the next day because he's, you know, he, he didn't like that. He didn't like how the media was saying that DJ Glaze was, was, uh, you know, blocking. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. He didn't like that. But, you know, that's, to me, that's a great thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's not, you, to see that growth for him and see him be able to kind of take that step where he can yeah. challenge their Mumford for the job. That's a great thing, you know. It kind of shows that maybe he can have some growth and become a starter down the line, and and uh, that's one of the things you really like. I mean, that's what you wanted when you drafted him. When you drafted a tackle in the third round, you're expecting more of a you know development type of guy. So when you have that and you see him development quicker than you know uh, quicker than usual or more, more quicker than you expected, that's a great thing. And I I wouldn't you know knock that or anything like that. So I, I expect him to keep growing. It's gonna be exciting to watch him in the preseason, see how he does, and see how he handles things. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait to see, you know, what he does. And like you said, the fact that right now he can either challenge or be able to be serviceable in that spot as of this moment right now against that defense, that's real good growth. Um, Because I wasn't expecting that at all first year. I'm expecting, you know, wait in the shadows, you know, just go ahead and build up slow. Next year we do that. But to get that now, that's real good. Um, I know we got some – uh. We got some questions in here real quick. I know somebody asked how sincere McCormick looked. Me, I was never a sincere McCormick fan. I feel like 
yeah. you know, this might be the year that it, it might be over with. Because I ain't heard nothing as far as sincere. Yeah, to be honest, when I was out there, I man, the twos and the threes and those guys weren't getting a lot of reps. So, you know, you're not, you're not seeing a lot of sincere. You just see a lot of him in the games. You know, same thing with, like, Anthony Brown and those dudes. They, they barely get reps out there. They're not getting mm -hmm. the quarterback battles out there. So they're trying to keep the best players out there with those guys. You're not – those other – kind of more backups aren't getting the reps that you would expect. You know, it's the same with like Britton Brown and those other dudes. They're not getting those reps uh, in practice, right? So, you know, it's going to be more what we see from Sincere McCormick in the games to see if he can make this football team. And that's going to be as important for him is for him to show out in the games. Yeah, right. That's how he's going to be able to make the squad. Um, we getting we at the halfway point too, so make sure everybody hit thumbs up as well if you like the content on both sides, right? Tape don't lie, or you like that rated rundown content. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button as well if you're new to both channels. But um, another question somebody else had: Bowers, right? Um, a lot of news about Bowers coming out, man. And I'm not gonna lie, every time I see one of the little breakdowns, I think from I think it's Jesse Maverick or somebody like that, they mm -hmm. give us a little breakdown in practice, and I see him. You know, flat here, rush here. It makes me it makes my heart warm, man. I, I love it because they're using him the right way. Um, so as of right now, you seeing everything so far that's going on with Bowers. Um, what are your feelings on that? Because as of right now, it looks like a very, very good pick. Oh, Bowers is a stud, man. I I that dude's nuts. It is ridiculous. That's okay. all I would say about Brock Bowers. Okay. He's, he can do everything. And I, I wouldn't expect him to block. You know, we, we, we uh, I, you know, when I was talking about wide receiver earlier, but you know, he, he might be the third wide receiver. He's the slot. You know what I mean? Like that's, it, that's the thing. Right. Yeah, he's, exactly. the spot. he's the X. He's the fullback. He's the the, the Y. You know, in the twelve personnel, the the the, the spread, uh, the uh, Y, the, uh, the flex Y. Uh, is flex what I'm for. So 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 you know, he's going to be that guy for everything. He's going to be a huge part of this offense. Uh, okay. You know, so. You know, so is Michael Mayer, though, too. You know, you, you see those guys. I, I just swear. About to ask getting, you. Yeah. Just about to ask, because people like saying, oh, just because we got Bowers, Mayer's going to be a non-factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Mayer's not going to be a non-factor. Mayer's going to be out there a lot. Because because the thing is, like I said, Brock Bowers is not blocking. I mean, AP said that today when he was being interviewed by NFL Network. He said, we, we, we are not expecting him to block. And that's Thank and that you. was big tell, right? So, you know, yeah. Mayor's going to get a lot of snaps still. Uh, Mayor's going to be really effective. And, and, you know, they're going to lean on those guys. Because the thing, one thing about those two, and Michael Mayer is very underrated with Yak, right? Uh, right. It, it's, it's something that we don't talk about. You know, I talk about that when I show his film. He has a lot of yak ability. He can make guys miss. He can run guys over. He's hard to take down. He'll carry guys for like three or four yards extra. So he's the type of guy that you could dump the ball off too, right? And yep. um, and Brock Bowers is the same. So, you know, it, it, it's it's going to be that type of look where, you know, you're going to see Mayer and Bowers on the field together. And, you know, but you're going to see Bowers as more of a wide receiver, right, than right. an actual blocking tight end, right? And we'll see how teams play that, and, and you're going to see a lot of smaller slot receivers on him if that does happen. So it's going to be a lot of good matchups that Luke X he can uh, take advantage of.